Okay, hello again, people. This is going to be the LTA Movie Club review for The Kite Runner. Uh, heading into this movie, I was I was hesitant coming to this movie because I've read the book that the movie is based on. I read The Kite Runner about two and a half years ago for a, for an English class that I was in, and I didn't really remember the book at all, which is not a good sign because you know if I liked it, I would have remembered something about it. Uh, the only things I could remember about The Kite Runner heading into the movie were it was a sad, depressing book, which is never a good thing for me, and Hassan Sodomy, which, you know, if you want to remember one thing about a book, you don't want it to be child sodomy. Uh, all in all, you know, this is a decent adaptation of the book, but I didn't like the book, so I didn't really like the movie. Um, it was a long movie. It was a, kind of drawn out. It was over two hours long, which kind of surprised me. Uh, you know, acting's okay. Nothing special. Uh, one thing I did like, I did like all the subtitles. It made it, it helped me get into the movie a little bit more, because, you know, I can't really explain why, but why, but, you know, the subtitles really made me feel, you know, like I was there. It really helped me experience it, speak, them speaking, um, oh man, I don't, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I want to say they're speaking Arabic, but I could be totally wrong there. Um, pretty much, I think one of the things that I didn't like about the book was that it did kind of bore me, like, especially I think the scenes with all the kite running and all that, but... For the movie, I really enjoyed the kite running scene. It's one of those instances where it's better to show and not tell. Which really helped me out early on in the movie. It really made me think that I was going to enjoy this until a little bit later on. And the biggest problem I had with this movie was Amir, the main character. I mean, I thought I was cowardly, but oh my god! He is such a pussy in this movie. I mean, I would at least try and stand up for my friend if he's, you know, being sodomized. Alright? I understand, like, if you're a little afraid against, like, the older bullies. But, you know, if they're gaining, ganging up on him, and all he has to do to stop it is give them a kite. Give them the fucking kite! I mean... You know, Hassan won't back down, but if I'm Amir, oh my god, go in there and say, just give them the fucking kite and let's go. And then, of course, he, you know, is taunting Hassan, telling him, you know, to, he's just being a dick to Hassan the entire movie, or at least in the entire childhood. And then when he's an adult, he's still, like, a pussy. Uh, in the fight with Asif at the end, he gets his ass kicked by him. He doesn't even land a punch. It takes us, uh, it takes Hassan's son, um, what was it, Soran? Yeah, it takes Hassan's son, Soran, you know, nailing him in the eye with something from a slingshot that stops him. Come on, I mean, I know he confronts... Uh, his father-in-law, Middle Eastern Sean Connery, at the end of the movie. Which, was, that was one thing that distracted me. Amir's father-in-law, which is, like, who's in, like, a few scenes in the second half of the movie, for a little while, I thought he was Sean Connery. I'm like, holy shit, they should be making a bigger deal out of this. And then I realize it's not. It's just a Middle Eastern man who looks like Sean Connery. And so that distracted me for a little while. Um, but yeah, he's, Amir stands up to him at the end of the movie, you know, protecting, uh, his nephew, because Hassan turns out to be his brother, because, you know, his dad fucked Hassan's mom, and his dad, and Hassan's dad was sterile, blah, 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 um, Oh, yeah. Uh, one other thing which kind of made the movie a little bit weird for me is 
I, like I said, I read the book, and the only thing I remember going in was the child sodomy, but about a quarter of the way through the movie, I remembered the ending of the of the story because I'd read it before, and you know, just you know, seeing it unfold before my eyes, it just you know kind of clicked, and I remembered that. Um, that. I remember that Asaf was a member of the Taliban and that Hassan's son helped Amir stop Asaf and that was pretty much it but that's basically the ending uh, like I said this is a long drawn out movie it didn't have to be two hours it's I don't know like it, it like it probably goes on the list of long depressing movies I've seen but it's not knocking Schindler's List off the top spot um, all in all, if you read The Kite Runner and you enjoyed it, watch the movie, it's a good adaptation, but if you didn't like it, don't watch it, obviously, you're probably not going to watch it in the first place. If you haven't read The Kite Runner, I probably wouldn't recommend it to you. Like I said, this is pretty much a sad movie throughout, and it's very long, it's just over two hours, so I would not recommend this movie you know it's like I said it's a decent adaptation but I didn't like the book so I didn't really like the movie either alright that's it for now Alex out peace